Infestation Survivor Stories, aka The War Z, is a multiplayer zombie survival horror game. Spearheading development of the game was Sergei Titov, a Ukrainian-born developer who had worked on such titles as Gears of War, Big Rigs Over the Road Racing, and War Inc., among others. Sergei endeared himself to industry suits with his penchant for cost-cutting and endorsement of introducing microtransactions into games. Word of Sergei's success in America reached Ukraine shortly before Sergei conceived the idea for the War Z. A notorious gang in Ukraine, with connections to the Ukrainian government, wanted a piece of Sergei's newfound success. And to get that piece, they kidnapped Sergei's entire family, putting his father and brothers to work in hard labor camps, while his mother and sisters were put to work as sex slaves. The gang sent word to Sergei that his family had been taken captive, and if he did not pay them one million dollars within one year, the entire family would be executed. Sergei scrambled for ideas. He knew the only way he could come up with that kind of money would be to develop a hit game as quickly as possible and to get it to the market within months. He decided the best way to ensure success would be to rip off somebody else's good idea. It didn't take long before he came across a modification for Arma 2 that had been rapidly growing in popularity. Day Z. Sergei immediately got to work on putting together a team to throw the game together as quickly as possible. He made a deal with the publishers of War Inc. to use their engine as the basis for the game. Sergei put an ad for developers on Craigslist and hired the first 10 people to apply all of whom were recent graduates of the year-long game development program at Full Sail University in Florida. Work started immediately. The team was tasked with skinning War Inc. as minimally as possible to masquerade it as a zombie survival game. Sergey put no care into fixing bugs or creating solid gameplay mechanics. There was no quality control done on the game whatsoever. Sergey had the team throw together a short demo for the announcement at E3. Questions arose about the similarities to DayZ and were quickly dismissed by Sergei, claiming the War Z had been in development for years, which, of course, was a blatant lie. As development sped along, Sergei took a trip to the Ukraine to visit with his family. Absolutely horrified by the conditions his family was subject to, he made the decision to attempt to smuggle his youngest sister out of the country. Unfortunately, the pair was caught at the airport and brought back to the gang, who executed Sergei's sister right in front of him. They also cut off Sergei's big toe as further warning and sent him back to the States. Sergei returned with a limp to the offices. He decided the game needed to be released immediately, even though it was not nearly finished. Sergei insisted it was only important that the microtransaction marketplace worked and that the servers were up. He made a deal with Steam and put all sorts of lies and half-truths on their Steam page. He had a young artist steal images from properties like The Walking Dead and implemented them into their own ads. All the components were shambled together within days. The game released to very good sales numbers. For that moment, Sergei was relieved. Unfortunately, his relief was cut short when people actually began playing the game and calling him out on the mess that it was. Sergei quickly deleted posts on the game's forum that had anything bad to say about the game and banning players who made the posts. Unfortunately for Sergei, he could not silence internet commentators such as Total Biscuit, who created a video calling out the game as the scam that it was and warning people against buying it. Just as quickly as the game was released, everything came crashing down around Sergei. He was so close to saving his family, but ultimately his efforts would prove fruitless. The game was taken down off of Steam, refunds were given, money drained from Sergei's bank account. The date given by the gang to save Sergei's family came and went. Sergei has not heard from them since. Sergei's entire family is presumed dead. Sergei lost all hope in the game and in life. His behavior became erratic, lashing out at critics and calling players fags on his message board. Sergei went into a deep depression infused with copious amounts of vodka and pain pills. Since the other members of the development team also had a stake in the game, they decided to continue forward. 
after a lawsuit was threatened by Paramount regarding the name being too similar to their movie, World War Z, the name of the game was changed to Infestation Survivor Stories and was re-released on Steam weeks later. During this time, Sergei plotted to find and kill YouTube personality Total Biscuit. Sergei used the little funds he had not spent on vodka and pain pills and tried to hire an assassin, whom he had also found on Craigslist. The assassin turned out to be an undercover agent, and Sergei was promptly arrested. Total Biscuit currently holds a restraining order on Sergei, but does not like to speak about the matter. After a stint in prison, Sergei was deported to Ukraine and has not been heard from since. <laughs>